back to the machinery shop area. Keep clear of the radiator. You don't need to kill the mech killer, but I'd be mighty grateful if you did. I've got this thing about dying in Here we go! tells me the security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of manatees. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too big enough to take Stay fast if you can. Shoot fast. I can always fix them later. Processing. Searching for unauthorized persons. Setting actions. Here we go. Everyone all right?
Cast the terminal. I have the parts in position on my side. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pumps. You don't know what that looks like in that says, cycle droplet pumps. No one saw me trip over that place. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life-or-death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from chief engineer to captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducts and panels, we could work something out. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gelded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next Captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. You've got my- You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they- I'd like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udom Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my... This 
Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled... You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of special... Are you listening to me, Emfuru? You can't get me out of there. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Emfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Just... As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Uh, hello. Uh, Junlei called up for me. Now, is there something I can help you with? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no... She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Take care. How long till the new Automax arrive? Can't say I've seen you before. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla. An asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. A pl Keep hanging around. What can I do for you? You have your...
You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? Groundbreaker safe from melting to bits. To the last ratchet on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You hull headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Should've known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I... Alright, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Udom Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Quietly now.
What do you think you're doing? I don't want any trouble out of you. How do you do? Huh? Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need? Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Traveling in style, are we? Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Hey there, Captain. You noticed, huh? What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, 
and we skim a few bits off the top in manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Sure thing. Be seeing you. Have either of the assault cruisers ever put into Groundbreaker? You don't seem to like traveling with us much. Hey, you got a second? Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Yes, I abs- Just give me a shot. That's all I'm at. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is... If you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on- Really? We're picking up strays now? Look at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on- She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all-
She rhymed compression alternator with aches to meet her. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Junlei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... Who's Isabel? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. I don't know. Junlei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Come on, Captain, this is no time to be fooling on me. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my... Hey, Max. What? You really think we all have a purpose? It's for a reason? It's not really that simple, but yes, fine. Anything else? If that's the case, is it my purpose to annoy you, or yours to be annoyed by me? Go away. You can't... Something on your mind? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Sure do. Some of it was even legal. What gave it away? 
It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? Gotta figure out how to work that into my aesthetic. Maybe a pair of earrings? I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Makes two of us, Captain. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo. That about covers it. Aw, oh, come on. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand, usually zero... I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. No complaint. By verity, by strength. What are we contemplating today? Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Groundbreaker? Good to see you, boss. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly... That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Stowaways ain't free. We were just as trapped as anybody else. We didn't belong in the system, but we still had to live in it. We still had to play by the board's rules. Imagine spending your whole life looking out at the stars, and knowing you could never aspire to be anything more than a box hauler. That's what it's like. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You ought to try it. That's what I like about you, boss. You got a mean swing. I caught a real lucky break. Yeah. Thanks for listening, boss.
Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? Right here. So, how does this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. I'm drunk's what I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on it. Bottoms up! Whiskey's a fine choice. Think I may have a glass myself. Oh! No, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like... Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Huh. Yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about Jun Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automech with a busted nav chip. I give counsel to plenty of folks I don't consider to be friends. If you need an ear, Miss Holcomb, I'm listening. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Well, maybe... maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences. In a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Water's for cowards! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good call. It's best to proceed with a light hand the first time. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... we get together and... she gets bored of me? Don't you tease me in my moment of weakness. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks, I thought... What do you mean, Captain? So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Yeah. I like the way you put that, like... It's okay to want to be better for her, 
and not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh, I... All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Well, it's not like I could be elsewhere. Nor am I capable... Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. I'll be just... just a moment. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story.